Hey guys, in this video, we have some work from home job sites where they're actually hiring immediately without an interview required. These are sites where actually they have listings. So instead of going to a site where it's just like, oh, sign up here and join our talent pool, where you may or may not have consistent work. These are jobs where they actually have listings and they're known for not requiring interviews to apply. And they have a very quick and easy application process. So the first company is called Working Solutions. Working Solutions is um, a company where many people have reviewed them and said they don't require an interview. And they also don't mention one in the application process here. So create a profile, you add experience, take assessments. So again, this is a very common thing among companies that don't require this kind of thing, that don't require an interview, is they basically have these online assessments as the substitute. So you will take these assessments, kind of see where you're at, and then PC scan, make sure you have the proper stuff that you need there. Shouldn't be anything that's too difficult to meet in terms of requirements. And then you choose your opportunity. So all of this considered, this is probably one of the fastest places you can actually apply because all this is pretty much less than an hour of time. And then you have a few different things available right now. You have the Canadian and the US-based customer service rep position. So if you're in the US, for instance, they are looking for customer service reps right now. You also get to work when it's convenient for you. So you get to make your own hours here. You work from home, you gain experience in different industries. So you're getting experience in all sorts of customer supports, not just one. And you should be able to get experience in phone, email, chat, all of the above in case you wanna get a different job later on that requires you know, maybe one or the other and more of that particular one. You gain experience in these industries, support environment. So you're gonna be working with different companies because Working Solutions is actually a company that that's what they do. They outsource customer service to other, to other companies. Occasionally you may even see some sales or something like that. And the earnings potential is not super high here. It's usually up to somewhere around $20 per hour. So if you need to make more than that, I would probably check other websites. But your schedule remains your own. You usually work somewhere between 15 and 48 plus hours a week. And obviously that is around whatever time schedule you need for the most part. And skills needed are very minimal, sincere, desire to assist the customer, tech savvy, ability to multitask and communicate with a friendly tone. Work environment, very simple to meet that requirement, just needs to be quiet, have an organized desk. And then technology requirements are very minimal as well. Now they typically want you to have Windows. So if you do have a Mac operating system, you may need to do something else. But as far as the internet speed, it's not too bad here either. You're looking at somewhere around 10 Mbps, which is pretty, pretty low in terms of uh, today's standards. So this is the US version. And then you also have, of course, the Canadian version, which is gonna be very similar to that one. And the pay might vary a little bit. If you're looking at the pay here, it looks like it's pretty much the same, up to around $19 per hour for this one. Again, this can vary depending on what kind of listings they have at the time. This is just what their latest listings are. But as far as what's like to work at Working Solutions, 3.8 out of five stars, 77% recommend working here to a friend. And we've already kind of been over the pay and all of that. But another thing I want to mention, um, in the past, I thought they didn't require a resume, but they do in fact require a resume. So even though um, they reportedly don't require an interview in most cases, you, you, know, you take a test instead. They do, however, require a resume. So just keep that in mind. Next, we have a company called Daily Transcription. Daily Transcription is another place that actually has listings. Typically no interview, work from home, like independent contractor listings. Obviously almost any job you find that's no interview is gonna be independent contractor or freelance. But this is a company that typically hires in a few different countries, including the US, Canada, UK, and New Zealand. So mostly English speaking countries around the world are where they hire. They have a lot of different listings right now. So I'm not gonna go over every one of these, if you're looking for transcription, subtitling, captioning, or something like that, then you can find a lot of listings here right now. They have general transcription. Um, they do want you to have a certain word per minute typing speed. So you might want to be able to hit that 50 words per minute mark. And they want you to have good typing ability and all of that, usually for any kind of job like this, 10 to 30 hours a week, and then experience level one to two years. So they do require a little bit of experience with this one 
whereas you know something like Working Solutions uh, usually does not. And this one, they tell you they pay um, 45 to 66 per uh, hour of material, I guess that would be. And you're looking at, obviously, that's not per hour of time. So you have to keep that in mind. Transcription pays a little differently than many other jobs where they pay you for your time. Instead, they pay you per amount of time of material is finished, is basically how they do it. So you have an AI editor, which is a little different as well. You have uh, one to two years experience here, up to 30 hours a week, and this one pays 60 to $90 per hour of material. Medical transcriber, same basic requirements, maybe a little more experience, a little bit less hours, but also pays more at 75 to 120 per hour of material. And then you just, you can kind of go down the list, subtitling and captioning, legal transcription, transcription in, in Spanish, you have as broadcast list transcriber. You have combined continuity and spotting list transcriber. So all sorts of different jobs available right now. Uh, now, All sorts of jobs available right now at daily transcription. Now, if you're wondering how much you could get paid here and what the reviews are like, they do have pretty good reviews, 3.7 out of 5 stars. And then if you look at the salaries here, you're looking at, you know, a few people have left some feedback here. You're looking somewhere around... Looks like 20 an hour, maybe as high as 26. You have up to 22, 22. You're gonna get paid usually more if you do like medical or legal transcription. So you see like a little bit higher range for those. You see independent contractor. Most of these are in kind of the mid 20s area or something along those lines. But the high end, you might be able to get to the upper 20s depending on the job. Next, you have a company called Appen. Appen's actually kind of doing a little bit of a rebrand, it looks like lately. They have all sorts of jobs like data annotation, content and search relevance, and things like that. Uh, so if you're interested in AI or um, search engines and those types of things, this would be a great place to find some jobs. They actually have a listings page now where you can go to their lever.co page and find listings. Now you are gonna want to look for your specific country because you see it's a very long list and they cover many different countries. So I'm just gonna use like the US as an example, but this is just, it's based basically a website you might wanna bookmark for this type of work. If you're trying to find something without a typical interview required, you might wanna look at app and just, especially if you want something that's more of a side hustle, if you want something that doesn't require much to apply, then you can check out app and maybe work a few hours a week on the side and make some extra money. But they have things like evaluation of speech, speech collection and recording, task judgment, and things like that. And then again, that's just the US. So if you were to look at all of them, they also have mystery shopping. You have uh, whatever a gig guru is. I'm not sure exactly what that would be. Um, you have different types of speech and audio jobs, audio transcription, search evaluation is a pretty popular one, task judgment specialist. So if you were to be like a task judgment specialist, for instance, this is what it would look like. You would basically complete judgments, engage in various judgment tasks related to data annotation, multimedia, sentiment analysis, and search engine result evaluation. No prior experience required. So they do have some things on here where you don't have to have experience. If you look at requirements here, it basically just has to do with where you live, your language, technology requirements are very minimal. It's basically just about your browser, residency in your country. Basically, you haven't just moved to a new country or anything like that. And then they pay you for about $10 per hour. And that's just one job here. Again, this can actually vary in terms of which job you get for pay. But that's another website you might want to bookmark and just look at from time to time. 3.5 out of 5 stars. 62% of people recommend working here to a friend. As far as the overall reviews for pay here, I'll show you a few different examples so you're not limited to that just particular one that I just showed you because I know some of these will interest other people. But social media evaluator, you're averaging somewhere around 22. You have 21, 28. Some independent contractors claim they averaged around 36, up to 50, something like that. And so you do have some potential here depending on what you do. It depends on what they have listed at the time because again, these are active listings. Next, we have study.com. You may have seen me cover them before, but study.com is a place that usually has a lot of writing and proofreading and editing type jobs. Occasionally, they'll have some sales jobs. 
and they're known for not usually requiring interviews. Like if you look up the interview process on Glassdoor, you'll see reviews a lot of times that say, you know, I didn't have an interview, I just took a test or something like that. But you'll scroll down here and you'll look for teach for us. That's usually where you wanna go. That doesn't mean all their jobs are teaching related. They're actually not. But for whatever reason, that's what they call their freelance, the link to their freelance page. They say teach for us for whatever reason. But flexible hours, you work whenever and wherever you want. You also get paid twice per month, in many cases via PayPal, but not, they don't always say PayPal in the listings, it just depends. But you're looking at position and location here. If you look at location, you'll notice that they do hire in many different countries around the world. And then if you're looking at position here, you're looking at all sorts of different things. Again, you're talking about writing, you have editing, you have uh, education and teacher certification expert. You have different people that will evaluate or write test questions. You have some sales rep jobs, like you see a few different sales rep positions on here. And you also have a few new ones that are very rare that I would say um, you don't usually find here. You see things like a SEO specialist in the Philippines, you have a web content writer in the US, and you have a YouTube educational video creator just as a few examples. So for instance, if you clicked on this one, you know, they'll tell you a little bit about it and they'll tell you kind of a short description what they're looking for. This one, they want an experienced teacher. That's not always the case for their other jobs. Again, they have sales development reps. They have teaching related stuff. They have a, a few different options out there. They have some if you've ever done proofreading before. And if you go on here, they'll tell you like a little bit about the job, of course. Usually they'll tell you something like this, that they pay twice a month via PayPal and all work is paid per piece. That's going to vary, of course, depending on the job. And some of them, again, are gonna be based on your sales numbers or something along those lines. But lots of different listings right now if you want something without a typical interview and you can check study.com. If you wanna know how much you could actually get paid at study.com, you have quite a bit of feedback here from people who have actually worked here. You have content writers, you have lesson reviewers, many of these types of jobs that you actually see on there right now. And you're talking pretty good numbers. You're looking at a pretty wide range of somewhere between usually around 20 to as high as something like 50 in some cases. So you're looking at decent numbers. Hopefully you're able to hit some of these higher marks that they say, like here's a video editor. That's a recent one. They say 22 to 35 for that one. Contractors in general, like if you just wanna know like generally what they pay, you have people saying 26 to 47, $34 per hour on average. So pretty good numbers here in terms of, you know, if these reviews are accurate and these people are telling the truth. 2.9 out of five stars is pretty standard. You know, I would say uh, most companies I see are somewhere around three stars. So, you know, even though you have this little arrow here, it, I wouldn't say that's too alarming unless you get closer to two stars. Next is a company you've probably seen me cover before. It's We Localize, but I have to include them because We Localize is a company that is hiring a lot right now, as usual. And they are looking for more people in the AI services division. They are looking for a freelance video editor. So that's one that's not usually on here, but it's one that they've had on here um, for the past month or two, maybe. And this one, they do say they want a little bit of work experience as a video editor, but other than that, you don't really need much else. Um, as far as the other stuff they have, they have added a few of these entry-level data raters, um, AI data raters to be more exact. These are new. Normally, I don't see these on here. So if you're interested in data rating, you could do these. These are for entry-level candidates. Usually that means you don't need much experience or uh, you know, higher education to do them. And you are gonna be doing things like data annotation and data rating in the AI field. This one does pay around $23 per hour. So this is one of the few where they tell you kind of upfront on the page what you're gonna get paid. As far as reviews, you don't, or as far as experience required here, um, you don't see a lot here. They do say preferably previous experience in relevant tasks, experience with e-commerce searches or website. But uh, other than that, you do need to sign a non-disclosure agreement. That's a pretty common thing among their jobs. They also usually want you to pass some sort of a training program and a test. Now, they also have these data validation jobs that are a little more common. These, they have a ton of listings for. They have a couple of these junior quality coordinators. These are kind of like quality assurance jobs. 
And then you also have the search quality rater positions, and then you have the ads quality rater positions. So these, the difference is for the search quality rater, you're going to evaluate search engine results when you type something in, make sure they're relevant. And the other one, you're gonna focus mostly on ads and, and search results, kind of the same thing, but focusing on the ads, you know, you go on Google, you see those ads at the top of the search results. That's kind of what you would be evaluating there. As far as how much you could potentially make on average at We Localize for these types of jobs, I did show you one that said 23 an hour. So you know that that's an option. And you also see some that average around 22, which is pretty much on par. You see a few others that are pretty common on here. You're looking for things like usually search engine evaluation or Quality Rater is kind of along those lines as well, $31 an hour. But if you're looking for, you know, maybe even a tester, I would say, could, prob could probably be one of those as well. Um, and if you go back to the first page, you might even see some more. But as far as the pay goes, it's going to vary quite a bit depending on which one you do. They usually have three or four different options for their kind of no interview section, their part-time section, in other words, where usually you're more of a freelancer. Sometimes you'll be considered part-time if you're in the US and you can maybe get some benefits. But a lot of times for most countries, you're gonna be a contractor and you're probably not gonna get benefits or anything like that. You're just gonna kinda, you're gonna be able to make your own schedule and just kinda work part-time. But you see like a web search quality rater here with 29 reviews saying they average around 33, upper end being around 46. I've seen that job pay, you know, as little as like $15 an hour, but according to reviews, that can pay quite a bit more as well. And as far as what it's like to work at We Localize, they have a 3.6 out of five star rating and 70% would actually recommend working here to a friend. Next, we have a company that's very similar to, to We Localize. It's TELUS International. You may have seen me cover them before as well. But again, you know, if you're trying to find as many options as possible, I got to include them because TELUS International has a lot of active listings for these no interview type jobs. So if you really are trying to find as many of these types of companies as possible that's actively hiring right now, especially around the world, TELUS International, you kind of have to include them in there because they're one of the biggest ones. AI community is where you want to go. You don't want to go to all jobs because then you'll be seeing their standard careers. Um, some of those may be in office and they're going to be probably full time, require a resume and all of that typical stuff. But if you go to the AI community, you'll see stuff where you can actually work part-time, make your own schedule, apply without experience, as long as you pass the quality test. Now, you have raters in the US, for instance, where you will rate search engine evaluated or search engine results and things like that. You have internet safety evaluators where they tell you you're basically going to review things like a sensitive material online and make sure it's not popping up in the general search volume. Um, when people are, say, you know, just searching the regular internet and they don't have the adult filters off or something like that, they need to make sure there's not a bunch of adult content being surfaced unless they actually click to turn that filter off. So that's kind of what this job does is something like that. You see $14 an hour for this one. Um, but you're you're gonna find all sorts of things that have to do with search engine evaluation. You have photo annotation, that's a new one. I don't think I've even seen this one before, but you see some stuff like that. I don't see a US version of it, but geo data evaluator, that's another one that's pretty recent. That has to do with like online maps and those types of things. So if you want to compare data, categorize photos and videos, rate the relevance of different things and also optimize map performance online. That's another thing you can do. So that one pays $12.50 an hour, but that's in Canada. They have all sorts of different options out there. Another one that you can find is an online data analyst. That's a pretty common one that's, they have a lot of listings for right now. You see a few different ones in different countries around the world. Make sure you apply for the one that is in your country. They don't have just one listing for all of these. They have a listing for every single country, even if it's the same job title. So just keep that in mind as well. And you'll notice that, you know, here's the US version. This is one that also kind of um, helps improve the content and quality of digital maps is typically what they tell you you're doing here. So this one, they want you to have pretty good knowledge of national and local geography in your country for this type of work. As far as how much TELUS International pays, we're looking at reviews here. Now we have seen a few examples where they pay around 12 to $14 per hour. 
So you also see some other ones that are a little bit higher than that. So you you don't I don't know why some of these are so much higher in terms of reviews versus what they actually um, have in some of the listings, but a lot of the listings don't tell you. A lot of them do not mention the actual pay. So it's hard to tell you exactly what to expect. Search engine evaluator, you see 44 reviews. That's pretty close. That's pretty close to the range of what you were finding with some of the ones I showed you, the ones that actually did tell you how much they paid, 15 to 23. But you also see some others that say, you know, 20 to 36. You see 26 to 48. And you'll see even some others that say up to 54. So it just depends. You know, if you look at the online uh, data analyst, then that's another thing you can do and see that one pays up to 42 with a $31 per hour average out of 11 ratings. So whatever you do, you can look up kind of some reviews, but be okay with taking a little bit less than what the reviews say, because sometimes they're not you know, exactly on par or sometimes the pay can vary depending on the listing. 3.6 out of 5 stars though is pretty good and 68% of people recommend working here to a friend. It's also pretty good. Next we have a company called, uh, called Arise. Arise is one where they actually hire for work from home jobs in the customer support department. Maybe you'll find some sales here and there. But if you're looking for something that doesn't require a typical interview where you kind of, you kind of have a training program and then a test that gets you ready for these jobs. So when you click to apply for a job, um, they'll have a few qualifications maybe on there. Usually they don't require experience, but they will have usually some sort of little bit of training that they want you to do so that you're aware of how to do the job properly. And then of course, to make sure you actually completed the training, they're going to want to test you usually. But like here's a new listing right here. And a lot of these were posted, you know, just a couple weeks ago. But you have like a bilingual insurance customer support job here. So for instance, something like this, they'll tell you like how much they're going to pay in Canadian dollars because it's in Canada. Customer service, currently enrolling. If they're currently looking for people, they'll tell you that in the status. So it's very easy to look at the top of the listing and kind of get the, the summary of what you need to know before you waste any more time looking at it. Uh, what to expect, you're usually going to do customer support. It's usually pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of what company you're doing customer support for. Some of these are cruise lines, some of these are tax companies, some of these are coffee shops. It just depends. No degree necessary here. They'll tell you right here what you're gonna be doing. Sometimes you're gonna to have to make some calls. You're gonna be doing insurance sometimes. Sometimes you'll be doing just basic customer support, maybe a little sales. These are bilingual in Canada, so obviously they have some outside of Canada as well. Um, but they have looks like a pretty big demand for French and English bilingual people in uh, Canada right now. So next we have next we have some in the United States as well. You have work from home and uh, you can generate extra revenue, customer support, medical transportation company. You have Carnival Cruise Line customer support. You have a leading home repair company customer support for that. A coffee shop into it which. They have to do with taxes a lot this time of year, customer service in the United Kingdom. So you have a few different countries, you have a few different types of companies, and you have three different pages full of these types of opportunities. So when you go to one of these too, a lot of times they'll tell you the pay, they'll tell you available hours. Some of these they tell you every 30 minutes. So when you look at this and you're like, oh, that pay seems low, that's because it's per 30 minutes and not per hour. You gotta pay close attention to that. Available hours kind of depend. Uh, sometimes you can schedule your hours just within a certain window. And as long as it's within that window, they don't mind too much. Um, you get to work from home from all of these, of course. And then every single one of these, they typically have like a, um, a registration program. You just set up your account. You view, you view the programs like I'm showing you right now. You enroll in the certification course that will prepare you for that particular job. And then you basically just go from there. The computer and equipment requirements are on here. So as far as, you know, just a place to find these types of jobs with no interview, it's another great option here with active listings instead of just, oh, we're always hiring. 3.3 out of five stars, 53% recommend working here to a friend. I kind of showed you what the pay is like. The pay is usually somewhere between like maybe 15 to $20 an hour. It's not gonna be super high paying, but it's one of those things where 
the requirements are so little and what you're doing is fairly easy so you can't really expect to get you know rich off of something like that you also have a company called omni interactions which is actually very similar to arise they have mostly uh, customer support types of jobs available as you can see right now they are looking for um, some spanish bilingual customer service reps you're also looking for just regular customer service reps as well in the united states and if you click on one of these they'll give you a little more information you're going to be an independent contractor you're going to make usually up to twenty dollars an hour i don't think i've seen them go over that before they tell you that right there um, work schedule options are your own you usually get to make your own hours as well and the majority of your hours are during weekdays and daytime pay is determined by your phone call status when assisting customers required skills for successful contractors are very minimal as you can see just a track record of customer service i've seen people get a job here or work here without having an actual customer support job experience it's more like they use their experience from working as a server at a restaurant or something like that and they still accepted it but important information they do allow mac or apple os but typically i think you'll have more job opportunities if you have windows so that's another thing to keep in mind you do have to have an antivirus software smartphone tablet ipad is required for program work along with an authentication app and other than that make sure you pay attention to the list of u.s countries or u.s states and territories of which they are hiring in because sometimes these vary they also occasionally have jobs in other countries as well like the philippines or something like that i've seen a few different countries uh, and again they do hire in some u.s territories sometimes like you might be able to get hired in Puerto Rico it says you are here and they mentioned Puerto Rico so a lot of people think oh it's probably just states well they're involved as well so as far as what's like to work at Omni Interactions they have a 3.6 out of 5 star rating and 71 percent recommend working here to a friend and again you get paid up to around twenty dollars per hour next we have Live Ops Live Ops is a company that is also a one that has all sorts of different listings and opportunities that they list right here so they'll tell you like in different sections like current openings they have remote call center agent work from home independent contractor this is kind of like your typical hours the second one is your nights and weekends so you're kind of off hours if you already have a job or if you have something else like school master license insurance that's a little bit different so if you wanted to be in insurance sales you would go down there but they have a few different things like retail support tax support healthcare, patient support sales and government support and many other things so if you're interested in one of these like for instance if you want to go nights and weekends you might want to check this section but if you wanted to go like typical hours during the day you might want to check this section right here um, you're not going to have rigid schedules or commutes or anything like that they tell you that right here so if you went and just clicked on one of these i'll show you an example they'll tell you about what you're kind of doing what types of people they're looking for skills and experience usually uh, every once in a while you have to be on camera um, navigating software is pretty common obviously customer service is mostly what these jobs are with you know some insurance and sales mixed in they'll tell you the recommended amount of hours per week what days are available to schedule those hours technical requirements here this will be high technical technology skill level some of these are low some of these are medium I've seen all sorts here usually the internet speed requirements are not too bad some of these are going to be higher than this one but just keep that in mind to make sure and check all of these little things before you apply so you're not caught off guard and then you do need to have a certain type of personality so they tell you that in this section here that they want you to be passionate about helping people empathetic calm display a friendly professional persona in different areas like email phone and webcam and those types of things so just make sure you pay attention to the whole listing for each one of those 3.7 out of 5 stars 69 percent recommend working here to a friend so they have really solid ratings here if you want to see the average pay at live ops you're looking at probably somewhere closer to like omni or something like arise because it's mostly customer support and you know sales but you do see some independent contractors say that they average more than that as much as 69 dollars per hour which is it's a little high but i would think that if the only way i could really see you hitting something like that 
as if you were doing mostly commission-based like insurance sales. They do have those. They do have insurance sales positions here. So you could have some high pay potential if you do the right one, but I would say most people associate this company with customer support. And if you do customer support, you're gonna be closer probably to the Omni, the Arise, the Working Solutions type of pay, where you're somewhere between like 15 and $20 per hour. But again, there is some potential here, maybe if you do insurance or sales. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. If you thought this was helpful, please let me know by clicking the like button. It really helps me out and helps me know like what videos you prefer. Also, don't forget to leave a comment if you want to ask me a question or suggest something for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one.